In this exercise, we will write the ground state electron configuration and the orbital diagram for silicon. First of all, we'll determine the atomic number of the element from the periodic table, which gives us both the number of protons and electrons for a neutral atom, because remember, protons and electrons are equal for neutral atoms. So for silicon, the atomic number Z is equal to 14, and that tells us that there are 14 protons. And for a neutral silicon atom, there must also be 14 electrons. So we need to account for 14 electrons with our electron configuration. We'll write the electron configuration as follows, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. That accounts for all 14 electrons. And then we'll draw the squares or boxes to represent orbitals in our orbital diagram. We'll group them together by sublevel or subshell. So notice that all of the orbitals that are part of the 2p subshell, for example, are all attached, indicating that they're part of the same sublevel or subshell. Next, we'll add one electron to each orbital in a given subshell, and then pair the electrons before moving on to the next subshell or sublevel. So the 1s subshell gets one electron. Then we'll pair up a second electron with that electron in the 1s subshell before we move on to the subshell, which will get two electrons. And the 2p subshell, notice that each orbital in the 2p subshell gets one electron before they, they become paired up, and that is to be consistent with Hund's rule that the electrons will, will remain unpaired as long as they possibly can. So the first three electrons go into three, and the next three electrons pair up with those three um, electrons in those three orbitals in the 2p subshell. Next, the 3s subshell, of course, gets two electrons, and the 3p subshell only has two electrons. We can see that from the electron configuration. And so those electrons are going to remain unpaired in two different orbitals in the 3p subshell. So we have the electron configuration, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. And at the bottom here, we have the orbital diagram, which shows the presence of two unpaired electrons, both in the 3p subshell.